Are you recording? <laughs> yeah. Oh, dang. Okay, just go. Okay, so we start off right here with Hunter's finger pressing the dominoes. This is a form of inertia because the dominoes were at rest before Hunter pushes his finger to start them. The dominoes wind around, hitting the ball or hitting the marble. The marble will then uh, move and hit the end of the pin, which is an elastic collision um, that the that causes the pin to move forward. And the tip of the pin will hit the dominoes, which is another elastic collision. The do dominoes will then wrap around and come over here and hit the wheels of the mousetrap car at an angle so that, uh, zoom in on the wood, that it will un notch itself from the wood, unhook itself from the wood, and come over here, which will cause, look up here. <laughs> We'll pull on the string, causing it to come off of the hook and cause the stored energy from the weights to swing down. Gravitational energy Gravit storage. <laughs> exactly. And hit the end of this car. If you want to look at the car. No, I'm trying to move because I have to go down here now. Okay, the car will move down the track, gaining momentum until it hits the end of this wood, which is. That smells so good. Sorry. Which isn't. Elastic collision? Oh, we already had that one. Oh, uh, what is that? Elastic, I believe. Car hitting wood is a moment of inertia. Oh, we already used that. Never mind then. Oh, impulse is with the wood. Oh, yeah, wood. impulse. Well, it's all kinds of things, but we're using it for impulse. The, the car hitting the wood will cause the <laughs> beam of wood to spin around, which is a form of... Torque. Torque. Because there's a... Because... Are you I'm looking it? at it. What's oh, your problem? Oh, look up here. Oh. Because it will cause a motion like that. Um, the spinning piece of wood will hit this piece of wood, which will offset its balance and cause it to go crashing on the little trigger button that we have hooked up. Hooked up to Charlotte from our previous. If you physics. were in our class last year, you would know. Oh yeah, same is. with the mousetrap car. Oh yeah. But anyways, causing a huge boom. And wait, move! You're in the way. Of the pillows. The pillows. <laughs> the ball f hitting the pillows will be an inelastic, inelastic collision. Are we done? Just hit and stick to the pillows. Yay. And cut. That's the ball. And that's... 86 miles per hour. Definitely. Or is, was it 81? I don't remember. It was 86. Okay. And that's it. And that's... inelastic? Oh, perfectly inelastic. Or no. It's yeah. just inelastic. Well, it's perfect because we did it. <laughs> <laughs>